Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Aquarius and their personality. And yes, it does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Well, anyway, well, when I see uh, Aquarius, they are, being an air sign, very friendly, very amiable. When people get to know them, though, they find out they are far more fixed in their ways than what they may think on a first impression because given it is an air sign they could be very amicable very friendly but the thing is being fixed they could be very set in their ways now what's interesting about Aquarius is that they could be very paradoxical Aquarius I mean they could be a very progressive but at the same time they could be very fixed in their ways of doing things and they really don't like uh, people telling them what to do there's a very independent nature in Aquarius that's why uh, more in a platonic relationship Leo would not exactly be compatible for this sign because Leo could be domineering and authoritative and Aquarius doesn't really set well with that they're independent they like to do things on their own way in their own time and don't like anyone dictating the course of action to them now good thing about Aquarius what I, what I like is the fact that they are very considerate now Aquarius uh, is the kind of people that they they want to be respected and they respect others as well they they want to be treated how uh, how they uh, will treat others they're the kind of people that they can make the ideal or prototypical house guest or a roommate because of their consideration they're the generally the kind of people that don't want to make noise real late or keep somebody up at least not intentionally or maliciously anyway they're people that uh, that generally have uh, care for others in that regard now one thing about Aquarius to me it really stands out is their unpredictability and they're very spontaneous I had a friend one time and he had an Aquarius ascendant and I can remember there's a moment he was uh, driving me around somewhere where we were doing some errands or something and instead of taking the conventional way into the parking lot he drove the vehicle up the grass hill he took his little shortcut and it really surprised the heck out of me I mean Aquarians will often do things that will leave you very bewildered uh, because of the unpredictability of the sign and the thing uh, too is about uh, Aquarius is that they are often uh, can I say this I mean they're humanitarians they can they are often about selfless giving to others they're similar to Leo but I think with Leo where they're met they're magnet Leo is magnanimous but a lot of it is more connected with mon things that are monetary or if you request Leo's uh, assistance they will grant it readily but with Aquarius it's really a strong general selflessness and they will often do things on a fly for someone you don't even necessarily have to request the help in doing so and they the way they help others it could be very like more universal or more global they they often are people involved with the environment and global concerns what they want to do is the things that they do that are beneficial for others and without it, the expectation of something return they often do it on a large uh, on a fairly large level and they still can do will do things often for their friends and because this is a sign of the humanitarian and it's and they are very selfless people and Aquarians are interesting too because they could have as I've stated in previous videos they could have that universal friend syndrome but the thing is they could often be detached and really not have many people really uh, know them really deeply uh, the thing about the sign too is that they could be very ingenious and very innovative now uh, Thomas Edison had his son, a son in Aquarius he was a renowned innovator and he had over uh, a thousand US patents on on innovations he including the electric car battery I believe the phonograph as well I mean these people are often very well ahead of their time and it's interesting I look at some sports athletes and they could in, in 
people, a number of sports athletes that have Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, they seem that they can uh, be very transcendent talents and ahead of their time. Now, many of you remember um, legendary NBA player Michael Jordan. Well, he has his son in Aquarius, and many people think he revolutionized the game more so than any other basketball player. Now, another basketball player, a guy by the name of Steph Curry, who currently plays for the Golden State Warriors, has his moon in Aquarius. And what he's doing is he's really changing, I think, strongly the way you win. You can win in basketball. It seems like with on his team, it's about having a, a strong amount of three-pointers and three-point shooting as opposed to having a few three-pointers here and there and, and shooting almost all two. So really, I think he's helping kind of change the way the game is played or how you can actually win that you can win with the barrage of three-pointers and be a perennial contender for the title. Now, also, the late, great uh, Muhammad Ali, a uh, former boxer, he had his moon in Aquarius as well, and I think he was very well ahead of his time, and many people think unequivocally he was the greatest boxer in the history of the game. I mean, I saw some footage of him, and it seemed like uh, he, he was throwing punches so much faster than his competition. He was just very agile and quick, and I think he was one of the more cerebral boxers that ever lived. Now, another thing about Aquarius is that they're often that sign that could do things that are audacious or, or those things that a lot of other people would be afraid to do. I mean, you take Nick Walenda, he had walked over the Grand Canyon on a tightrope with no safety net. And how many people do you think would actually even attempt to do something like that? I wouldn't even want to do that uh, with a safety net. That wouldn't be my thing, but that's me, though. And the thing about uh, Aquarius is, I mean, we go back to the innovative uh, ability of, of this sign, the ingenuity. I mean, what's interesting is I've stated this in other videos before, but yeah, um, I think with actors and actresses, they often can go into an acting role that corresponds with their uh, with something connected with their astrology chart. That, that really that and, and they really I see this happen in a lot of cases. Now you take Richard Dean Anderson, who was on the original MacGyver, and on the show of he's a, he has his son in Aquarius. And on the show, he would always do these, make these improvised uh, things out of just everyday items, and it would help and it would extricate himself from whatever dilemma that he happened to be in, and showed a lot of ingenuity in doing so. And in one episode, he took a flare gun and a rocket to, and a, and a rock to create a something called a rocket thruster, and I guess it helped extricate himself from that a negative situation and really i mean this is something too you look at aquarius too and they could often be very talented connected with computers and electronics and if you have something like say you have some malicious virus in your computer and you're trying to figure out what to do an aquarium can often be that person that can help you out because they're often very knowledgeable in computers and electronics. You can often find them in those fields uh, doing computer repair work, doing working as some kind of electronics technician, working in uh, just something connected with uh, those fields, the work, uh, work electronic, electronic devices, doing things that are repairing those electronic devices. Those are things that all Aquarians will often be interested in and even aerospace and just science in general. Uh, there's many Aquarians that would that are innovators, believe in this is really, this is the most ingenious and innovative sign of the Zodiac. And, and that humanitarian uh, quality is so strong in this sign. It's just a sign where, what, what makes them so interesting, as I stated before, is just the simple fact they could be very paradoxical. It makes them very interesting, progressive in thought, but set in their ways. They make friends easily, but they're really people just have a hard time often being close uh, to an Aquarius. They are, I mean, they have the, the thing about them is they just like to, to have that freedom and have that, that independence and I think there's just something with them where they just don't really want to be uh, be smothered 
uh, by people. So obviously, it, uh, say the zodiac sign Cancer might not be a compatible a sign for them or say even a Taurus who could be very uh, possessive that would obviously be something incompatible for this sign well anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Aquarius and their personality and stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about Pisces and their personality two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well